round, taking on Miguel Navarro de Brito, who is making his entry into the tournament today, the Junior World Cup bronze medalist. Stiff jab by the Spaniard. It is the Bahraini taking center cage. Both these gentlemen looking to keep their distance and snipe their opponent. Measuring each other, taking their sweet time to see and get any sort of reaction out of the opponent. Nice, long, rangy striking here from Mohamed Hussein. Both of these gentlemen, pretty tall and long, rangy fighters, looking to make the most use out of their range as possible. Could be pretty evenly matched so far. It is the Spaniard showing the first sign of a takedown faint. Another one, huge reaction there from the Bahraini. Could be to his advantage. Let's see how he capitalizes on it. Perhaps wants to occupy him with his hands first and then go for the hips. Let's see. So far, no strikes of significance. It is the Bahraini who initiates the first clinching exchange of the fight. With one minute left, less than one minute left. Reversal here by De Brito out of Spain. Excellent work here by De Brito. Looking to trip his man. He uses the posture adjustment of Hussein to get a body lock instead. Nicely done by the Spaniard. Beautiful hip toss, huge air Spain emergency landing in Bahrain. Beautifully done by the Spaniard De Brito. So far, not much of significance except for that hip toss we just saw. They've been measuring each other so far, trying to see what the other is about, trying to get a read but not much being left out in the cage, except for the last grappling exchange we just saw. You'd have to give it to the Spaniards so far. No significant strikes being dealt by either gentleman. The only thing of significance so far was the hip toss. We are making our way into the second round. Perhaps Mohamed Hussein will look to keep things at range this time. Not sure what it's taking so long. Here we go, second round. Touch of gloves. We are off. The men's eighth finals. Mama Hussein coming off of a TKO win yesterday. And the Spaniard entering the competition today. 
And so far, the Spaniard finding the most success via his wrestling against the cage. Although it is still Mahmoud Hussein initiating the clinching battle. The Spaniard reversing immediately. Mama to say now with the pressure against the cage. Looking to slow his man down. The Brito not showing any sign of interest in reversing the position. Perhaps looking for an opening of some sorts. So far having a tough time the back against the cage. Another hip toss by De Brito. Oh, look at that. Excellent work by the Spaniard who now ends up in half guard. With his opponent against the cage. Now to, to be able to even get some significant striking, he's gonna need to build some sort of posture which will make it easier for Mahmoud Hussein to escape. Down he goes again, immediately to the back though. Mahmoud Hussein relentless here with the defense. Excellent work by the Bahraini. Bahraini finding himself stuck on the cage now. Huge knee by the Bahraini who reverses yet again. Insisting on the fight taking place in the clinching. Although he has been taken down twice now by the Spaniard. By two different hip tosses. The Spaniard now looking to enter the hips of the Bahraini. But so far, he hasn't needed any access to them as he's used the overhook to hip toss his opponent. Will we see a replay of that? Could that be why he's so calm? There it is. Another one. Not as successful, but yet still explains why he just is satisfied with the overhook and keeping calm with his back against the cage. He's looking for those huge hip tosses. Might that keep Mama Hussein from initiating those clinch battles against the cage? We will see. So far, they have been costing him. Has been pretty even. No striking of significance so far. The only one scoring takedowns has been the Brito out of Spain. With beautiful hip tosses. Right, third and final round in the senior men's welterweight division. Mohamed Hussein, excuse me, taking on Miguel Navarro de Brito out of Spain. Bahrain in the red, Spain in the blue. I would not be surprised if I'd see the Bahraini now try to keep things at a distance instead. Not finding much success in the clinching. Perhaps use some of his rangy punches. His boxing. He did find success in his striking yesterday, winning by TKO. So far, the Spaniard 
would be having a significant advantage on the scorecards as he's been the one with the significant control time and takedowns or not control time necessarily but the takedowns those could have been weighed over the control time of Muhammad Hussein who now finds himself being pushed up to the cage. Immediately in on the hips is Debrito. And Mohamed Hussein once again initiating the clinch battle. We've seen this in round one and round two. Debrito taking his sweet time, looking to gain access to the hips and throwing Mohamed Hussein over those hips. But no, now he wants to enter the double leg instead. Mixes things up. Nicely done by the Spaniard. It is Mahmoud Hussein. Oh, look at that. The Spaniard now. Reverses yet again and reshoots to the hips. Muhammad Hussein, though, doing a great job of defending now. Only 40 seconds left. I would imagine that you'd have to see Muhammad Hussein do a bit more now. He needs to show the judges something. The referee has seen enough, apparently. All right. This is their chance. 25 seconds left. Once again, initiates the clinch. Looks for that big knee. Parried by the Spaniard. There it is. The final bell between Bahrain and Team Spain. Bahrain, of course, initiating the clinching in each and every round. But the Spaniard reversing and using the clinching to initiate takedowns hard to say who the judges will favor or what they will look at control time versus takedowns Your official decision. What you're hearing is chance for Nina Milosevic, former Sweden representative, now representing Serbia. The red corner, there you have it, Mohamed Hussein gets it done. Wow. Spaniard visibly upset, of course. Did not do enough, evidently, 